research experiment was designed to evaluate the cockroach's ability to utilize conditioning to make decisions in anticipation of future events. This ability may help it recognize and avoid danger that it has experienced in the past. The first step was to design and construct an enclosure that would facilitate the maintenance of a control group stored in darkness and the conditioning of an experimental group subjected to flashing light. The cockroaches were given dog food and water and displayed signs of healthy growth. After conditioning the groups for two weeks, we carried out two experiments. Aim one was to evaluate the tendency for cockroach behavior in a novel environment to be affected by trends in past environmental stimuli. Our hypothesis was that cockroaches with different past environmental stimuli will display different reactions in a novel environment. To do this experiment, we observed the movement of experimental and control group cockroaches when placed in a tube apparatus and subjected to flashing light. For each 10 second light cycle, the cockroach's behavior was classified as moving or not moving. Here you can see a cockroach moving actively when the light is turned back on. Analysis of this data did not show a statistically relevant distinction between the two groups with a p-value of 0.37, far higher than the threshold of 0.05. Aim 2 was to evaluate a cockroach's ability to apply familiarity with a past environmental stimulus to anticipate a similar event in the future. Our hypothesis was that cockroaches' past experience of a negative stimulus will inform their decision about escaping that stimulus. To perform this experiment, we placed cockroaches from each group into the tube apparatus and subjected them to light. This time, they were provided a dark hiding place at the end of the tube, known as the goal. When the cockroaches passed the midpoint of the tube, the light was turned off. After 10 seconds, the cockroach's position was measured relative to the midpoint and the end of the tube. A statistical difference between the distance covered in this time by the control group and the experimental group would indicate that their past exposure to flashing light had impacted their behavior and motivated their decision to continue toward the goal. However, data analysis using the student's t-test did not conclude a statistically significant difference with a p-value of 0.24 greater than the 0.05 threshold. Source of error in conditioning may have included temperature and hydration differences between the two groups, light cycle malfunctions in the light group, and light contamination in the dark group. These errors may have reduced the effect of the conditioning phase of our experiment. Source of error in AIM-1 and AIM-2 experiments may have included insufficient light contrast and temperature gradients through the tube apparatus, which may have influenced cockroach behavior. Imperfections in the measuring techniques may have reduced the accuracy and precision of our observations. This qualification of many cockroaches due to inactivity significantly reduced the sample size and could have prevented the measurement of a statistically significant trend by selectively removing cockroaches exhibiting a certain class of behavior. Future studies could further examine the observed trends in cockroach inactivity.